Right, yeah, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, I have to pull my chair out. I do apologise for that. You're honoured today, I'm in my shed. Well, I don't suppose you are honoured because it's very basic out here. Um, so, what am I going to do today? So, I've got a bit of gingham work to do. Now, I know a lot of people don't like gingham. Um, I love gingham. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Hang on, I need to pull this forward a bit. And if gingham had been my precursor to my embroidery life, it would never have happened because when I was at school, we had to make a needlework, a gingham apron for cooking class. And I hated it, hated, hated, hated sewing class at school. So who knew um, nightmares about that apron? So, and plus my nana used to make me things out of gingham. So it's like really wrapped up with me in my history. So what I want to do, I made a few of these um, recently, not recently, but I've been making gingham patches and they were mostly for these little books that I've shown you the other day. Can you see? Yeah. In this book, they're not mounted on other gingham. Um, this one, I like this one. I like little flowers, web stitches and stems. Um, but this one's mounted on a different colour gingham and I think they might be in here. Oh, do you know what? I did a lot of mounting on different coloured gingham. I don't know what happened to them because they're not in here. But anyway. Anyway. I don't understand that actually. Why they haven't got any of them. I can only find these two. Um, so this one. And gingham's your friend. Because it's just like the lines are there. Everything's straight. If you're like me, I couldn't cut a straight line to save my life. Like just by eye so if you've got a gingham your lines are there it's incredible it's really really useful so what i want to do today is not the whole thing but i want to attach this to this pink background and then i'll cut it off about three squares out okay these are tiny squares so if i get a needle and i'll do it in a color that i've used within the embroidery and in here i've got normal size bullion knots like 10 wrap ones i did the bullion knots with you the other day um and i've got web stitches and french knots okay so i'll just show you i mean you're probably thinking i don't need you to show me how to do this i'm not three years old but it's an opportunity for a chat isn't it um, a stitching chat which you can never go wrong with my classes have had Zoom in them recently and it's been amazing. I was dreading it, but it's been the best part of them. The chatting, the embroidery chats, usually every couple of weeks, in the morning and an evening, on the same day. Um, so I'm going to do this two squares in, okay? With yellow. So I'll take one stitch and I'll miss two squares one stitch across one square, miss two squares and come up to do another stitch across one square and miss two squares again. Okay. I mean, gingham, like, what's not to love? If you were doing this on a normal piece of fabric, well, if you were making, oh, see, I've got across two there. I do get confused from time to time. I'm going to cross one and miss in two. And what I did then was go across two because my brains don't work. What can I say? And now I can't thread my needle. Hey ho! Oh, Karen, what are you doing? It's really raggy. Um, right, so we'll start again. Right, across one, one stitch across one square, miss two, and then come up ready to do one stitch across another square. Okay, miss two, and come up again. Now, I don't know how clear you can see this. I could try and zoom in. Um, wrong way. Oh. I don't know. Let me just do that stitch and then you'll see. Can you see it? I don't know. Anyway. Across one square, miss two. And that's how I'll, what I'll do. It's pinned on here, by the way. And be careful when you're pinning any worked pieces here that you're not going with the pin through the stitch. The embroidery that's already on there. You've got to be careful where your pin's coming up. 
Okay, so I'll finish that off camera because what I want to talk to you about now is how useful gingham is decoratively for my little books that I'm making. Look on here. Oh, that one. And this one. This is like a little tab. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Like a little tab. And that's a tiny, just one square of gingham. All right. With a few French knots in the middle. And that was gingham, a uh, bigger squared gingham. And uh, you can't tell it was gingham, it just looks like blue fabric, but trust me, it was. Just so much easier to stitch. Yeah. So that's why I just love gingham, because it's a doddle for getting your straight lines and things. So on this one, these are a bit bigger pink squares than this one. This is amazing for web stitch. So what I'm thinking is, I could do web stitches on here. So if I was to do four web stitches in different colours, I'm not going to do them all on camera, don't start yawning. Um, don't start growing a beard or losing the will to live. But say I was to do four web stitches in an area of this gingham, then before I did the next, because I could get quite a few pieces out of this if it was four squares for each set of stitching, you've got to remember to leave room to cut them out afterwards, okay? So let's say, for example, put the knots in my thread. So let's say, for example, I come here and do my first web stitch on here. Okay. I'm not taking it to the full extent of the square because I think that would be too big. Coming just within the squares. You know what a web stitch is, because I did them with you the other day, and I'll link to that video in this post anyway, if you uh, if you didn't see it. So just let me get my legs ready for the web stitch. I had a comment off somebody, is it Anne? Is it Anne? I hope it's Anne. Um, if it isn't, I apologise, but you said that watching my video had given you the courage to attempt bullion knots. So I haven't got back to you yet, I promise you I will, I'm sorry about that, I really hope it's Anne. If it's Anne, I'm gonna, not Anne, I'm going to be so embarrassed. But anyway, you'll know who you are. So if I, one, two, three, four, then I need to leave, I think with this one, one square on all four sides before I do my next one. Okay. And then, so I'll have one, two, three, four web stitches. I'll have a space ready to cut that line. Then I need the equivalent space on my next one. So I won't stitch in there. I'll do one, two, three, four. Does that make sense? Um, I hope so. But you've got to be conscious of leaving your cutting lines. I'm sure it makes sense, but I'll go through it again in a minute. I'll just finish this one. I'm not close enough, am I? Sometimes it blurs, though. And also, the closer I am, the more likely I am to move out of the camera line. I'm renowned for it. I'm more renowned for not realising where my stitching is in the camera lens than I am for the stitching, I think. I've got a bit of a cold. It's a nuisance. Nuisance. Now these are filling up quite nicely, these legs. This is Cotton Abroader 16, this orange thread. A bit of fibre in there. Come out, that's it. So relaxing to do these, honestly. Like you should prescribe it on the NHS. For people who are stressed out. Get them on embroidery. I mean, they'd probably still be stressed out while they were learning, but once they knew how to do things like this, it's the perfect way to relax. 
once you get into the rhythm. Right, I've nearly finished this one, so I'll go to the uh, explanation again of the spacing. probably thinking, give me a break, I'm not three. But do you know what? It's one of the easiest things in the world to forget because I've done it myself. Not left enough room for the cutting out. Why won't I go through there? That's it. That's it. And then down to the back to fasten it off. cut that off. Right, so let's go back to this spacing business, where is it? Right, so one, two, well it was that way wasn't it? One, two, three, four web stitches, a space to cut, okay, a space to cut for the next one, and then one, two, three, four web stitches. And you need to do that all the way around. So I've got one, two, three, four web stitches, I need to leave one space all the way around for the cutting okay i hope that makes sense if it doesn't make sense you can complain to the i don't know complain to me let me know and and if it's not and i apologize profusely um but you i do remember your comment specifically remember your comment which was so good to receive so i hope that makes up for me getting your name wrong if i got your name wrong 